This hackerang challenge is in Python again, and it's called string mutations. So we have a string, we need to insert a new character into it and replace a previous one. But the issue that we have is that in Python, strings are immutable. In other words, you cannot change them. You can't modify them. The approach I'm going to use is very simple. We're going to use something called slicing in Python. So you can type it here, slicing. So assuming we have this input, which is next try, it's a string. We want to grab index three, which is the character T here. So we have zero, one, two, three. T here is index three. And we are supposed to change that character to the character A. What we'll do is use slicing. It's something that you're going to see in the syntax of my solution. But what it does is we're going to grab the first three characters of my string. So from index zero all the way to one, two, these first three characters. Once we grab that, we're going to insert A at that position right after index two. So at that point, we're going to have N, E, X, and then A. And then we're going to grab the rest of the characters from index three plus one, which is index four here, R, all the way until the ends. So these ones. And by the time we're done, we're going to transform this into this new string here. In this Hackerang challenge, we're going to have a few parameters. So the first one is a string. It's called string and it's basically the input, whatever that is. Then we're gonna have another parameter called position. It's gonna be the position at which we need to modify the character. And then we're gonna have one last parameter, which is the character that we need to replace it with. So in this case, we replaced T with A. So this right here is my solution. We have a function, it's already given, it's called mutate string, and they have the three parameters that I just mentioned. So what we have to do is return string, which is the input right here. And we grab everything up until position minus one. And I say position minus one because the end is exclusive. So you see that notation here, we have the uh, brackets, square brackets. So that's the index array notation. We have a column, but we don't have anything before the column. Meaning we're gonna grab everything up until whatever comes after the column. So in this case, what comes after this column symbol is the parameter position, which is the number or the index in this case, at which we need to stop collecting values from the array. So here it's position minus one, meaning if we pass three here, we're gonna grab up until index number two. Then we're gonna add the character that we need to um, replace the, the one that was previously at the index position. And then we're going to grab the rest of the string from position plus one up until the end of the string. To give you guys an example, I'm going to type inside of this box here, next try. And I think I need to add the index. So I need to specify the index. I'm going to type three here, and then I'm going to type A. So this should give us what you saw in my notepad example which was this one here. We used index three, and then I replaced the character T with the character A. So let's run this code. So next try here became this string. That's the same thing as what we have, right? You see that it's the same thing here. Now I can submit this code to run it against their own test cases. And I believe we just passed the test case. Even with this very long string, it still worked. So that's it. You have an idea now of Python slicing, and hopefully you know how to modify your strings. So if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.